Now for this question, we've got to solve this equation. 5 to the power x then equals 10, giving our value of x to three significant figures. And to do something like this, I can think of two ways anyway that, uh, that spring to mind. So let's just run through them. Because we've got an equation involving a power here, we're going to need to use logs. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with your rules for logs. Again, if not, just go on my website and look under logs and you should see some tutorials on that. Okay, so uh, what would we want to do first of all? Well, we've got two terms. We've got one term on each side, so that's looking good. And we can then take logs to both sides. And I'm going to take logs in base 10. And then in my next example, the way I'm going to do it is take logs in base 5. So if I take logs in base 10, we've therefore got the log of the left hand side, 5 to the power x equals log of 10. You'll notice I don't write the base here as 10. By default, if you just write log, it is in base 10. So we now turn to the power rule for logs. When you've got a power up here, hopefully you remember that you can bring this power out to the front of your log. Okay, so uh, you should be familiar with that rule then. So that becomes x log 5 equals log of 10. Now the log of 10 is in fact 1 because the base is 10 and the power you have to raise 10 to in order to get this 10 is 1. So that's 1. Now if you didn't remember that, not all is lost because you could just still carry on with the log of 10 there because in the next step we've got to divide both sides by log 5. So x equals 1 or log 10 if you didn't know it in base 10 divided by the log of 5. So either way you just enter this into your calculator and you end up with x equaling 1.4367 and so on. And we've got to give this to, what is it now, three significant figures. So giving this to three significant figures it's going to be 1.43 to 3SF. Okay, so that's one way that we could do this. And I did say we've got another way, so let's just come down here. And that is, if we just start with the equation again, let's just write it out as 5 to the power x then equals 10. Well, what we could do is take logs in base 5. And if we do that, we then end up with the log in base 5 of 5 to the power x equals the log in base 5 of 10. And again, we can use the power rule here, bring the x out to the front. So therefore we have x log of 5 in base 5 equals the log of 10 in base 5. Now the log of 5 in base 5, really for the same reasons we had the log of 10 in base 10, is 1. Because you have to raise the base 5 to the power 1 in order to get... 5. So therefore we've got x equals the log of 10 in base 5. Now I'm assuming that you've got a calculator then that is able to calculate logs in various bases. Otherwise most calculators are going to have this version available, this log, okay, in base 10s. So just use your calculator and what do you get? Obviously the same number as you had on the left there. 1.43067 and so on, which when rounded then to three significant figures, it's going to be 1.43 to 3SF. Okay, so I hope this gives you some idea then of the different ways that we could tackle this problem.